So this is a 50-year-old lady who presents with a um, uh, no background history of note, uh, otherwise employed and healthy person, and uh, presents now with a problem of an injured left middle finger PIP joint. Once again for the students, we always start with history, then examination. The history is about the patient and then the problem. The patient is a 50-year-old, otherwise well-working person. The uh, current history is that she injured the finger two days ago in an altercation and uh, showed us a picture on her phone of what looked like a volar dislocation of this uh, PIP joint. Uh, difficult to be sure. Uh, then you look, and the most obvious thing to see, except for the uh, evidence of strapping on this finger, is the flexed position of the PIP joint with the hyperextended position of the DIP joint. Whenever you see a PIP joint injury, you, you, you're not sure whether this is a sprain of the ligaments of the PIP joint causing a, a flexed position, or this is a true boutonniere. A boutonniere is a very uncommon uh, injury. Uh, we only see a, uh, literally a few of those every year in this very busy clinic. How would you make the differ differentiation? So she can make this finger straight. So if you look at it, it's swollen around the PIP joint. There's hyperextension of the DIP joint. If you feel, you can feel that there's a boggy tenderness, boggy mass over the central slip of the extensor tendon. And um, there's really not much else to notice. It's not actually that sore and the ligaments from side to side are stable. Uh, then you want to move and she can actively extend when you place her into that position but if she makes a fist, make a fist okay and now also to extend you see she can't fully extend but once again if I put her into straight she can hold it there so this is typical of a true boutonniere deformity what's happened in the boutonniere deformity is the central slip of the extensor tendon has pulled off the bone but the two lateral bands are still intact coming into the base of the terminal phalanx so one of the tests for a boutonniere is called Elson's test. If you ask in, in a normal finger, if, if you ask the patient to extend the PIP joint, extend there, make it straight, then there should be relative laxity of the DIP joint because she's using the central slip, not the lateral bands to make this finger straight. On this finger, if she asks her to push, A, she can't generate any force, and this goes very tight. I can't actually bend this because she's using the lateral bands to try and straighten the finger. So this is a typical boutonniere deformity and it needs to be splinted in the straight position for six weeks, leaving the DIP joint free so that you can bend, bend this fingertip down hard to keep the lateral bands gliding and allow the, the central slip to reattach to the bone. Six weeks in the splint and referral to a hand clinic is imperative.